Hey guys, Darren King of Fitness here. How you doing? Um, I'm here currently at Col Colorado, so it's actually Denver, Colorado, and I'm here with a friend of mine and also my marketing man, Daryl Stern. Just say a quick hello. And the reason why I'm doing this blog for you guys today is because we're actually pretty excited. We're going to the movies, okay? I don't remember what it's called to see. We're going to see. What is it called, by the way? The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman. Okay, so. With an Australian accent, it's Hugh Jackman. But anyway, so what, I'm, what I've noticed when I'm here, and it happens in Australia as well, of course, but it is bigger, things are bigger here in America, right? Now, I see popcorn like crazy, massive, massive popcorn, massive drinks. The, the drinks here, the soda they call it, we call it soft drink back in Australia, but they're absolutely huge. So whether you're here or whether you're in Australia and you go to the movies, if you're someone's actually trying to reach your ideal weight or you're actually trying to trim your waistline, not a good idea to be jumping on the bandwagon of this stuff. So anyway, so I know it's challenging for a lot of us, especially, you know, you've been brought up as a kid and you you know you're used to having all this as you go along you know you know you just love you just feel like it's part and parcel of what's going on with the, with the movie okay so anyway so if you are up for a change and you actually really want to go the, the next distance it's time to start putting a spanner in the works if nothing changes nothing changes so if you keep doing the same old thing you've been doing from the past it's going to be nothing will happen at all there's a thing called the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over again, expect a different result. So if you want to seriously make a change here, at least, if you're not going to go cold turkey and, and not have it at all, at least compromise, yeah? If you're used to having the big, the big mother, the big mother of popcorn or the big mother of soft drink or soda, um, compromise and go downgrade a little bit until you actually become, you know, get control of this. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And if you're someone who actually struggles with this mentally, because it doesn't matter whether you're overcoming grog, cigarette smoking, whatever attachment is, whatever crutch it is for you, um, there's got to be baby steps to get to the end of the line, okay? So um, little steps for this one today, this blog is about downgrading in size or going, Daryl's going to say something to me. Hang on. Yep. Uh, can I have a small popcorn? Yes, Daryl, you can have a small car. <laughs> so this was actually sparked from Daryl, and I appreciate Daryl's honesty because um, you know he's one of the, he's one of these guys. It could be you. Small oh, hang on, small popcorn. <laughs> he's funny. So he's gonna he's actually going to get some popcorn now, and normally it'd be the big one, the massive, extra, extra large, or whatever you want to call it. And he's actually going to make it the medium size or whatever whatever it is to get downgraded. So instead of cold turkey, he's actually going to downgrade. So anyway. If you need to know any for anything more about this or want to help in hand with overcoming habits or have, overcoming obstacles, give us a yell, um, darrenkingoffitness.com. Um, otherwise, um, you can, I can always drop an e-book down below. Search down below if there's one there. Jump online and whatever it takes to get the job done. Okay, see you guys. Love you. I'm Darren King, King of Fitness. Just click a link below to schedule a call with you.